I know how annoying it can be using CapCut and not being able to access the proof tools, but guess what? I've got something exciting for you today. If you love CapCut, I know it's because of its simplicity and packed with cool transition and effects, but you do not pay for it, right? Don't worry. In this video, I'll show you how to use all those fancy pro features completely for free. No shady sites, no sketchy apps, and definitely no cracked stuff. This is 100% safe and uses files already on your computer. And the best part, you don't even need to sign in or update anything. It works on any version of CapCut. So you need to stick around till the end because missing even one step might mess it up. So guys, let's get started. First thing first, if you haven't installed CapCut yet, just go ahead and do that. Open your browser on your PC and go to CapCut's official website. Or you can just search CapCut download. Then on their official website, just hit download button. And once it downloaded, just go ahead and install it by following the on screen steps. Once the installation process is complete, just go ahead and open your CapCut. When it launches, you will see its main screen just like mine here. Click on the setting icon up here and you will see the version you are using. And for me, I'm using version 6.70. So I'll start a new project and apply some pro features to it. What you need to do obviously is to click new project, then add a video to your timeline. And now for this tutorial, I'll scroll through and add rich color. It's under filter. Drag it across your video. Next, on the effects tab, I'll add on and off effect. So remember, these are pro tools. Normally, you can't export a video using them unless you've paid for pro. Uh, after you've finished editing and added all the pro tools you want, try exporting the video by clicking on export. As you can see, a CapCut will warn you that you've used pro features like on and off, a rich color, and that you need to upgrade. Not today. Click back to edit then return to your timeline. What you need to do here, select everything on your timeline by dragging or using Control A. Once you're done, just right click and choose Create Compound Clip. And this merges your videos and effect into one. So next, right click again and select Preprocess Compound Clip. This step might take time. So here you need to be patient. Once it's done processing, minimize your CapCut. Now the next thing you need to do is to look for CapCut icon on your desktop. Mine is here. Then right click on it and choose properties next on this window you need to click on open file location and this will take you to the main CapCut folder where you'll be able to see old CapCut version you've used on your pc once you are there just click on this little arrow up here to go back to one folder level now here you need to find and open the folder named user data inside it you need to scroll and open the project folder mine is right here next click on this first folder now here you'll see several folders look for the one that matches your project name to confirm just go back to CapCut and check the name of your project as you can see mine here is 0725 in bracket one now that we know the project name just go back to the folder and open the one that labeled uh, for me is 0725 in bracket one inside it find and open resources folder then go into the combination folder again open it then inside here you will see two video files one of them is your finished video with all the pro features backed in now open it and confirm as you can see it's the same video you edited but now it's ready to use without any pro restriction and that's it guys you just use CapCut pro tools without paying or installing anything dangerous on your pc no cracks no viruses just smart editing using files already on your system if this video helped you out hit that like button so more people can find this trick if you love editing tips tech tutorial or you want to up your content game hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you get stuck or something didn't work drop your question in the comment and i'll be able to help you out so thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one